Hi everyone, today we are going to sketch some modulus quadratic graphs. So let's jump straight into this example where we need to sketch this function for this given domain. Firstly, we will need to find the turning point of the quadratic curve by completing the square. Now, before you do that, make sure you have a coefficient of a positive 1 for the term in x squared, and then you are ready to begin. Now, next, look at the term in x. Divide that coefficient by 2, and remember to bring along any negative sign if there's any. For this case, it is a positive half. Put a plus sign here and square the half. And to make the statement equivalent, balance it off by introducing minus half squared and place the minus 6 behind. Now immediately we will have x plus half squared minus 1 quarter minus 6. And don't forget to include your modulus sign. And by simplifying further, we will then have modulus x plus half squared minus 25 over 4. Now this is the point where we could find the coordinates of the turning point, which is minus half and plus 25 over 4. Now the original coordinates are actually minus half minus 25 over 4, but because of the modulus sign, the y value of that turning point has become positive. Now after you have found the turning point, the next step is to find the y-intercept. Now all these steps are actually to ensure that you have the right data so that you can plot it on the sketch of the graph. Now the y-intercept happens when x is equals to 0 and y is equals to modulus minus 6, which gives us a value of 6. Next, we need to find the x-intercept. So when y is equals to 0, x plus half squared is equals to 25 over 4. Now this gives two values, x plus half is equals to minus 5 over 2, or x plus half is equals to 5 over 2. Now x is then equals to minus 3 or 2. Now the final step is to get the domains. So when x is equals to minus 5, y is equals to modulus 25 minus 5 minus 6, giving us a value of 14. And when x is equals to 5, y is equals to 25 plus 5 again minus 6, which gives us another value of 24. Now immediately after finding all these information, the next step is to plot the axis immediately and then we could indicate the turning point, the x-intercept, as well as the y-coordinates. And also we could include the domain, how far to the left and how far to the right that this sketch of the graph will go, which is minus 514 and 524. Now let's sketch the graph right now which gives us this particular shape and following which don't forget to label the graph and the domain is actually minus 5 is less than x is less than 5. So we will just put a circle over here to indicate that the value of minus 5 and 5 respectively are not inclusive. Now before we move on to the next example, do remember to subscribe to this channel to see more valuable content such as this. Alright, so let's move on to example number 2 where we are going to sketch this particular graph. Again, we are going to use the same technique where we will need to first find the turning point by completing the square. Alright, by completing the square, we will have x squared minus 4x plus minus 2 squared minus minus 2 squared minus 12. You notice that we are going to take minus 4 over here divided by 2 to give us minus 2. And this will give us minus modulus x minus 2 squared minus 16. Now the turning point will then be 2 and minus 16. 16. Now this is because the modulus of minus 16 is simply 16 and don't forget to include that minus sign which is outside which gives us a value of minus 16. Now for the y-intercept it happens when x is equals to 0 and very simply y is equals to minus 12. Now for the x-intercepts we will let y equals to be 0 so x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. By factorizing this expression, we will have x equals to 6 or x equals to minus 2. Now to get the domains minus 3 less than equals to x less than equals to 7, when x is equals to minus 3, y is equals to minus 9 plus 12 minus 12 modulus, which gives us a value of minus 9. And when x is equals to 7, y is equals to minus 
49 minus 28 minus 12, and this gives us a value of minus 9 as well. Now, with all these data over here, quickly sketch out the axis of the graph and mark out first the turning point of the graph, which is 2 and minus 16 at the bottom and the y-intercept, which is minus 12, include also the x-intercepts, which is minus 2 and 6. Very quickly, we can sketch out a u-shape over here, and subsequently, we can also include minus 3, minus 9, and 7, minus 9. Now, this is an inclusive sign over here, so what we can do is to include two circle dots at the extreme ends of the graph. And don't forget to label this particular graph. Now with that, I hope you have more confidence in sketching a modulus quadratic graph. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching this video.